Hi everyone, in this in this dish or curry we're going to make is called khatta. Khatta, which is, stands for tangi tangi curry. Mostly Bengalis use it. So what we put in, we got some um, cherry tomatoes here and a couple of onions. I think about just large, one large or two large onion shredded. Now we're going to put the uh, spice in. Yeah, one teaspoon of haldi powder. One teaspoon of mixed curry powder going in. Now these are the ingredients, okay. And One teaspoon of dhania powder. These are the ingredients for our katta. Katta means only means tangy katta. Uh, we're gonna put some little sprinkle of salt here, and we have some shredded garlic here. Garlic for the sizzling. Side of things, you have to sizzle this curry. Yeah. Now we put some some vegetable oil there. Um, uh, we just put a couple of three tablespoon of oil, and as well, I'm going to put the uh, the garlic in. We make a little of seasoning going on there, and we have to stir it well in. Okay. Now, so the oil goes in, vegetable oil. Then you put the garlic to season it. Wait for a couple of minutes. Slightly brown it so it gets the the garlicky flavor out. Now this is the fish we are doing. It's a type of Bengali fish. Uh, it's called roe. R O H U roe. Yeah. Now it's the, the cherry tomatoes and all the other ingredients in. Give a little quick mix. Work all the ingredients in. Now you can use uh, instead of using the Bengali fish, you can always use the supermarket. They have like tilapia and um, pangash and all the other. You know, you can reuse Western fish. And if you're lucky enough, if you have any Bengali shop or Asian grocery shop nearby, you can always just. Well, most of the majority of supermarkets in the UK do have Asian fish, you know. You can try with mackerel or, you know, mackerel will work with. And that's the, we just wash the, the bowl a bit so we don't want to waste all the goodness of the spice. Okay. We will leave the ingredients to simmer a bit. Put the lid on. Yeah, and then we'll add the fish. Because we do not need to put any spice because we already put it together. And this, this curry is basically like kind of watery. Yeah, watery based curry, that one. Tastes absolutely fantastic. Right now, as you can see, we cooked it for about 10 minutes, and and now everything's the tomatoes and all the spice, tomatoes soaked up, like a soggy sort of thing here. Now we will 
add the, the fish. Mix it well in. Now we'll put the lid on. We'll put the lid on and leave it for a couple, uh, couple of minutes about. So roughly six to seven minutes and then we'll add the water. Right, it's time to put the water in now. We just put two whole chilies in there. Right, so we are tipping about six cups of water. Uh, okay, so we're just gonna stir it. What we did, we just boiled the water. Yeah. Just use the kettle to boil the water first. You don't have to boil it, but it's better if you boil it. Makes the cooking process faster. So we put the water in. Yeah, kata tend to be a watery, tangy taste of curry. There we go. The water depends on how uh, depends on you really. You can put really watery, you can make it thicker and that's it. I will tip the coriander in. Stir the coriander in nice and easy. Put the lid in now and cook it uh, for about roughly about 10 minutes cooking time and the curry will be ready. There we go. Um, in 10 minutes time hopefully the curry will be nice and tasty and juicy. And uh, basically we cook for about 10 minutes now. And the curry is ready. What you need to do is lift a, lift up a piece of fish and let's see if it's done, yes it's done. And you can gauge it by you know lifting it and letting the water go how thickness do you like. If you like a bit of thickness you have to pick up a bit more. Uh, that's about it, it's done. Here we are ladies and gentlemen, our final kata. Fish with tomato. Tangy curry, you could always try it. Nice and tangy taste to this curry. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching uh, my videos watching this video and all of my other video please please make sure you click like subscribe and comment button and hopefully we'll do another video soon so once again please go in and do all the good stuff clicking liking and subscribing thank you so much